Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Cremo here with Wakefield. We are in December in our second season in the Premier League. We have a busy month ahead of us. We have Watford, we have Everton twice, we have Leeds United, Fulham, and Burnley in the league. This is a very easy month, at least should be a very easy month for these boys here. We currently sit sixth in the league with 22 points. Well, only two points off of fourth spot, which Liverpool currently hold with that. Arsenal are only tied with us, and then Spurs are only two points behind both of us. This is our team as it stands right now. And honestly, I think this is actually going to be the team now. Brian will go ahead and replace Weber in the starting 11, at least for the time being, just because I like how Brian has been playing recently. And talking about Brian, the Youth Academy board objectives for this season. We are still on 0 for 3 now for the 85th minute plus goals. I'm so tempted and so close to changing it to like 80th minute plus goals because I have been scoring 80 minute plus winners. So I might do that to be honest. But if I do, it would start fresh from the next episode. But for right now, it's 85th minute goals. We currently have 4 out of 10 out of the Brian and Barnett comeback goals and I might even up that now to 15 if Brian does well this month because he is starting now um, we have not we're not in a, a final of, of, of any cup yet we got knocked down the Calvary Cup pretty early we won't find out our FA Cup route into next month or next episode we haven't won manager of the month. We have five out of 11 positions who have scored. So that really hasn't changed for a long time. And then we obviously are currently sitting in the top half of the league. In fact, we're fighting for Europe at this point. We're fighting for a Champions League at this point. Somehow I did not win manager of the month last month despite winning three games and only drawing to Austin Villa. I'm not sure how, but we do have a lot of games this month. So I think if we somehow win every game this month, then we have a real shot of getting manager of the month. So that's what we're going for. And I forgot how ugly our away kit is. We are going to go ahead and simulate through this game. It is Watford. We'll play Everton at least once. We'll probably end up playing Burnley and maybe... I think Leicester's in this month, if I remember right. Maybe Fulham, actually. Comes in initially in the first four minutes. He gets a goal to bring his team up 1-0 well, here against Watford. Once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And, one. and Brian two makes it 2-0 in 11 well, minutes. He is absolutely destroying second. Watford right now. And, it goes. and then and Moyano goes. comes and in and makes it 3-0 in the 78th minute. It's been quiet ever since that Brian second Three goal. Goals. We finally get the third and we... Get the win for sure now. Sealed. Done and dusted. And we might be in the fourth here as soon as I almost need to back up. Event. Maybe. You no, know, we're playing Tiki Taka football. It's not working out. It's with Vargas. And that's not what. what you we're here with Barnett because why not? I'm going to go actually short here. Wofford down and to 10 men. Elise Vargas wide open. I was just trying to get a goal, to be honest. Keller, Davey. Davey. Brian Hernandez, say Moyano's there. Moyano makes it 4-0. And that will actually now make it 6 out of 11. Because Moyano now has scored for myself. So I actually somehow managed to get that done as well. I wasn't even thinking about that. But it is done. And it's a, it's a butt whooping here against Watford. And the job is done. A 4 0 win against Watford. We kick off the month of December how we should. And with that win, we actually break into the top four. Liverpool and Leicester City go ahead and drop points. We are now sitting in fourth, only one point ahead of Leicester and Liverpool. We're also only one point behind West Ham in third, and then only nine points behind top of the table, Chelsea. So going ahead and possibly winning the league ain't that far of a stretch for this team, especially if we were to have a great month in December and somehow win every single game here. I think one of these Everton teams, I'm probably going to end up probably maybe making the most out of it. We are going to go in here with this team. We are going to go ahead and play this game as well. And let's see what we can do against these Everton boys. Match commentary. 
Sam Bryan has been on fire. Five goals in his last three games. See if we can keep that up here. He's obviously replacing Weber, so he has some big shoes to fill. I mean, Weber tried to replace Hoffman. It didn't really look like it's going to work out that much. But I think Hoffman is an incredible player that you just couldn't replace at all. But maybe there's an off shot that Brian, one of the OGs of this squad as well, might be able to replace him. And news of a goal at Davey, the Hotspur Stadium. Brian, Alex, tell us all about it. Brian yeah, out wide now for Davy. Davy's taking it. Davy's going to take himself. Davy's in behind himself, and Davy has an opener. It's 1 0 for Wakefield. And controller disconnect number one of the episode. As we take a lead and make that two in just a matter of seconds, make that three in a matter of seconds. Okay, come on, game. It's two, 1 0. Wakefield, take the lead against Everton. Well, Just got to keep Everton this momentum going, keep firing up. We haven't lost in today. nearly, more nearly 10 games down. almost. Now, and Davey's in behind in again. Davey wants his brace. Davey will get his brace. It's 2 0 here against Everton. We're absolutely crushing the floor with the squad here. And this team is looking like it might be one of the best that we've ever assembled. Well, here's the goal Look again. at this pass from Brian to find Steele in that little bit of space so that he clear. had. Once he gets on second half here, we're up to nil. It's a Davy Masterclass out here. See if he can keep it up. See if we can keep it up and not allow Everton away back in this game. We got to get that third for that to really and solidify. And Jacobs is going at the field. Alex Jacobs Scott. will look to find Steele. And Steele is in behind. And there is that third goal to make it 3-0. And Everton might be out of their depths now. And in fact, it's not meant to be so bad. I'm going to go ahead and jump to a result. And we're going to win 3-1. We don't get the clean sheet. Kovic just goes ahead and scores, but it doesn't matter. Davey Masterclass in the 30th minute, in the 36th minute. As we win 3-1. Leeds United up next. They are seven. They're probably our hardest team left in this month. They're only seven points behind us, kind of sitting in that ninth to tenth range, maybe eleventh. Hello and welcome to a very passionate. But that is pretty much venue. it. Let's I'm see if we can beat them here Ellen away Road. from home at Ellen Road. Derek Ray, ready to and he will carry it out as well. And Young is just going. Steel doesn't want to go at all. And then when and the steel does, he gets in his way. We find him though, and then we find Jacobs, and he'll find Brian in behind. Brian will find Moyano and Whitfield. We'll have the lead against run to play. It's 1 0. Davy Evans crossed in. Steel back post. Steel on the header. Steel doubles the lead. It's 2 0. We get a little bit of a cushion here now against Leeds United. <coughs> Can we get a third to really cushion this game and put it to bed? Neto out wide for Vargas. Not my Vargas. Their Vargas. Evans crossed. Shot comes in from Neto. Petit couldn't block it. Evans couldn't save it. It's actually quite a good goal. Davy switching the field for Steele. Steele might be in behind. We're going to need that third goal for Cushion. Steele gets tackled. And the defender should pick up a yellow card. And he might even get fortunate enough to pick up a red card. He will pick up a red card. Drama is gone. And they are down to 10 men. And steel, actually, steel is not gone. Oh, I didn't put. Switching it up, going to a 4 4 2. Brian Weber as our strikers, and obviously everybody else, where else they really should be, just to have an extra support well, in the team. Jacobs comes off as a cam. We have no cam, so that might be a problem. And Vargas is actually going to try and somehow put this into the back end that I have no hope in this at all. But full power, this is going to sky it, isn't it? No, it's not. It actually might go on target. It target, will. But it was never going to trouble the keeper. Typical EA fashions is just no. Now, Davy looking, trying to get past his defender. He'll pass it back for Vargas. Back in for Davy. Now in for Weber. Weber. First couple touches in the game, and he scores to make it 3-1. And to solidify the win for sure now. Brian over the top for Weber. Can't find Davy. Referee's gonna blow his whistle any second there. Three, so the one, win. Here, the and Wakefield are on fire at the moment. 
All right, we're gonna. I say rotate the squad. We're only replacing uh, Brian and then Davy on the flank for Weber and Cunningham. As we simulate through here against Fulham, we'll jump in if need be. But this should be win number four of a possible six in this month. And now they get the ball rolling. And a goal. And, and Fulham take the lead the pretty early on here. It's one nil for them. And he's made it 2-0 in 12 minutes. If we don't get one back before halftime, I'll definitely jump in. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. He had to score, and he Moyano does. makes it 2-1 right before halftime. I was getting a little bit worried there. So the Thankfully, trying to stabilize it. And Weber makes it 2-2. We're right back into it. And Jacobs makes it 3-2, and we're front again. The boys have turned it around after a quick start from Fulham. It's 4-2, it's Cunningham. The substitute makes it 4-2 here against Fulham. Complete control now of this game. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And it's 5-2. Weber has a brace in this game. As we completely do a 180 and fully and take control of this game. A 5-2 win against Fulham makes it number win number four of the month. Two left to go to get to have a perfect month. And only Burnley and Everton stand in a way of stop. And we take the lead early here on Burnley. 1-0 for Steele. That looked to me like excessive force. Davies just picked up a red card. He's out. 25 minutes in, he's gone. And Evans just conceded an own goal. Things are going from worse to worse here. It's 1-1. So back underway following the equalizer. Still retakes the lead in the 55th minute. It's 2-1 for Wakefield. Well, as they kick Pablo Torre just made it 2-2. Last 10 minutes in, we're going to jump in ourselves and try to get the job done with ourselves here. Steps, Moyano, Vargas, who's on the yellow card, Brian, Jacobs, Moyano, Moyano! 3-2, Wakefield up. We will win game number five of the season, of the season of the month. Maybe. There's still time for us to absolutely choke it here. Petit deals with it. Petit still going, trying to keep control of it. He's well, just going to send it up the field for Steele, and he'll get blocked. Just to confirm and and game over. 3-2 win with 10 men Wakefield here. We get the job done, and we win name, game number five of the month. All right, second game of the month here against Everton. We're going to go ahead and simulate through it again. We'll jump in if need be like we had to for Burnley. But hopefully this can be win number six really of six of morning. this month Everton of December. We have been on an absolute just tear of these Premier League teams. And Everton had the lead in the 33rd minute. Haidarda opens it up 1-1. So we are going to have to go in here 63rd minute and jump in and take care of those things ourselves. Maybe I should have let them play out just a little bit second. They were on the attack. I didn't see it. Steal now. Still in behind, first effort, first look, 1-1. One, one. And we go ahead and level it up here. It's 1-1 one, one now against Everton. Young, he's going to carry up the field. He's going to look to find Steele out wide. Steele, he's going to look to find Brian. Can't do so. Pacho did well. But Steele will win it back, though, and he'll find Brian. Brian, touch shot. Beautiful goal. And then we take the lead. It's 2-1 for Wakefield. And win number six of six is loading. Evans. Right, Weber, he might have been offside there. Was he offside? No, he was not offside. A 3-1 win here against Everton. We come in and do the job, and we had to do it ourselves. The AI couldn't do so. I told y'all Everton, the second game, would try and get us. But thankfully, we go ahead and shut him down. And Weber, who honestly, he's gotten dropped. But he hasn't been bad enough to be able to get dropped just fully. It's just really Brian point. has been absolutely but insane these last couple referee. of episodes or episode or two. Really, this episode, to be there. honest. Well, I'm trying to get the ball to Evans. Ah, the referee blew his whistle. I was going to try and get a cheap and assist. It's a 3-1 win, and that's so win number six out of well, a possible six wins this entire month of December. 
If we don't win manager of the month now, this shit is rigged. That's all I'm going to say. Spurs go ahead and win 1-0. Actually, where are we at in the, in the league table? I haven't checked that. Surely we got to be at least top two. We're top three. We're third. We sit third in the Premier League table. Man City have a game in hand, so we could go from five points behind to eight points behind if they obviously win their game in hand, which is against, don't know yet, not Leicester. Uh, there'll be a while for that play their game in hand. Go ahead and see all the way down here. We absolutely crushed every single team we played pretty much. They play Austin Villa, who are currently sitting in 16th. So they will win that. Man United are the one of the, to the six, top six club struggling for this season. Not as bad as Arsenal was last season, where they nearly got relegated. We are four points off Chelsea in second. Winning the title ain't the goal. I think the goal was trying to get into a Europa League spot realistically. But let's see if we can go ahead and win manager of the month. Surely, it's got to be us. It's got to be our thing. I don't think we have. I don't think we did. I don't think we've actually done it. John Frazier has come back from loan. I'm going to probably end up selling John Frazier. I can't lie. International. Okay, we're going to go ahead and quick sim this game against Watford. Can we make it seven wins in a row? Here, taking on Wofford now. No, it's not seven wins in a row. We finally get shut down a little bit, but it's not a loss. It's a draw. Let's see. Did we win manager of the month? Surely. We have not won manager of the month. How have we not won manager of the month? I must quick sim all the way to the seventh. Neo release clause has been triggered. I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm going to have to go through these quick. I don't, I don't, I don't know what else, I don't know what else the game wants me to do to get manager of the month. Winning six games in one month ain't worthy of game manager month. I know they're not the best teams, but still. And what, we are on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11 unbeaten streak right now. We are absolutely flying. I'm going to have to go and actually go ahead and negotiate Neil's deal. Actually, I don't know if I can. I think Neil is on his way out no matter what thinking about it Exposito, i'm gonna go ahead and just do that where is neil i need neil can i actually oh i can i can't oh he's gonna go tommy neil is gonna go for 76 million we're just gonna have to say goodbye to him and then we're gonna end off the episode here with the last board object the last youth academy for these three nations and i won't start them off to the next episode when, tomorrow when i have the mods in and honestly, these guys aren't looking that bad. 925k, we'll bring him in. We'll not bring in Martins. We won't even bring in Moyeta. We will not bring in Miranda. So somewhat the value didn't match up to their to their worth. Sweden, absolute nothing. And then in Homeland, England, absolute filth once again. That's just incredible. That's going to be the end of the episode. We end it in third spot. Maybe fourth now because that loss. Uh, the draw against Watford. We are sitting in fourth. Ten points behind league leaders Man City. Six points ahead of West Ham. So we have a little bit of cushion in that. So it's looking like we might be filing for a top four spot. Somehow within this season. I will see you all for the next episode. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace out.